Welcome to the World Pulse. You the latest news from around the world. Imagine everything you know about the universe's history, every timeline, every cosmic event, every theory about how it all began and evolved over billions of years. Now, what if a single groundbreaking discovery forced us to rewrite the very first chapter of that story, challenging the very foundation of our understanding? Astronomers are now grappling with astonishing data suggesting that some of the earliest galaxies in the universe are far more developed, more mature than our current theories allow for. Galaxies that shouldn't exist so soon after the Big Bang. It's like stumbling upon a fully grown oak tree in a field that, according to all logic, should still be barren and empty after the universe's explosive birth. This isn't just a minor tweak to our cosmic story, it's a paradigm shift that could upend decades of scientific consensus. The cosmos may have built complex structures, stars, galaxies, and clusters much earlier than we ever imagined, shaking the very foundations of our timeline and forcing us to reconsider what we thought we knew. Our standard model, known as Lambda CDM, tells us the universe is 13.8 billion years old and predicts how long it should take for the first stars and galaxies to form and evolve. But these ancient, surprisingly mature galaxies, captured in stunning detail by new telescopes, seem to defy those predictions and expectations. If galaxies could form and mature this quickly, what does that really say about the early universe? Could our entire timeline be off, or is there something fundamental we're missing? Are we missing some unknown physics, some hidden force or process that accelerated galaxy formation in those first cosmic moments? Thanks to a new eye on the sky, the James Webb Space Telescope, our cosmic origin story is being questioned and rewritten, promising a richer, more mysterious narrative than we ever knew, and opening the door to discoveries that could change our place in the universe forever. To understand this cosmic mystery, meet the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Think of it as a time machine, not just a telescope. Launched in 2021, JWST's massive gold-coated mirror collects more light than Hubble, letting it see fainter, farther objects. It's real magic, infrared vision. As the universe expands, ancient light stretches into infrared, JWST's specialty. To detect this faint light, JWST operates at a frigid 233 degrees, shielded from the sun a million miles from Earth. This engineering marvel lets us witness the cosmic dawn, peering deeper into time than ever before. JWST isn't just bigger, it's revolutionary, built to answer, where did we come from? How did the universe begin? By looking back to the era of first light, JWST is actively investigating our cosmic origins. And already, it's finding things we never expected. JWST's mission is simple, yet profound. To witness the cosmic dawn, the era when the very first stars and galaxies burst into existence, ending the universe's long, silent dark ages. This is the moment when light first began to pierce the cosmic darkness, transforming the universe forever. Before JWST, the Hubble Space Telescope offered us only tantalizing, blurry glimpses of these ancient galaxies, faint red smudges on the edge of detectability, their true nature and structure hidden by the vast gulf of time and space. JWST's extraordinary infrared sensitivity and immense light-gathering power are specifically designed to capture the faint, red-shifted glow from these first galaxies, light that has traveled for billions of years, stretched by the expanding universe. Using advanced instruments like NIRSPEC, astronomers can break this ancient light into detailed spectra, unique chemical fingerprints that reveal a galaxy's elements, its motion through space, and even its age, unlocking secrets from the dawn of time. The search is painstaking and requires patience. JWST must stare at seemingly empty patches of sky for days or even weeks, collecting every possible photon of ancient light in deep field observations. Each resulting image reveals thousands of galaxies, some relatively close, but many are ancient relics from the cosmic dawn, their light having traveled over 13 billion years across the universe to finally reach us. Now, for the very first time in human history, we can truly study the universe's first chapter, uncovering how the earliest galaxies formed, evolved, and ultimately gave rise to everything we see today. 
The commotion in the astronomy community centers on a distant and mysterious galaxy known as GNZ11, a cosmic object that has captured the attention of scientists around the world. Even with the powerful Hubble Space Telescope, GNZ11 stood out as a candidate for the oldest galaxy ever observed, dating back to just 400 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was still in its infancy. At such an early age, galaxies are expected to be small, turbulent, and chaotic, only beginning the process of forming their first generations of stars. But the James Webb Space Telescope's incredibly detailed observations reveal that GNZ11 is not only surprisingly well-ordered, but also chemically mature, far more advanced than astronomers anticipated for such an ancient galaxy. Its light spectrum reveals the presence of elements like carbon, oxygen, and neon, so-called metals that, according to our understanding, shouldn't exist in such abundance so early in cosmic history. This discovery is as shocking as finding a modern smartphone buried inside an ancient tomb, completely out of place in time. The Big Bang itself produced mostly hydrogen and helium. Heavier elements are created inside stars and then spread throughout space by supernova explosions, a process that usually takes hundreds of millions of years. Yet, GNZ11 appears to have already undergone multiple cycles of star birth and death, resulting in a stellar population that seems almost as old and evolved as the universe itself, defying expectations. This means that star formation in the early universe must have begun almost immediately after the Big Bang, and at a pace far faster and more intense than any of our current models had ever predicted. To grasp this, let's talk about metals. In astronomy, metals are any elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, carbon, oxygen, iron, and more. The metallicity of a galaxy measures how enriched it is with these elements, revealing its history of starbirth and death. The first stars, population 3, were made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium, with zero metallicity. They lived fast, died young, and seeded the cosmos with metals. Later generations, like our Sun, formed from increasingly enriched gas. By measuring a galaxy's metallicity, we track how many cycles of star formation it's undergone. GNZ11's metallicity is shockingly high, comparable to galaxies a billion years older. It's as if cosmic enrichment was put on fast forward. Our models say this should take much longer than 400 million years. The data says otherwise. The evidence isn't just a pretty picture. It's hard data from JWST's near-spec spectrograph. When JWST observes GNZ11, it spreads its light into a spectrum, crossed by unique lines, each a fingerprint of a chemical element. The team detected strong emission lines from ionized neon, oxygen, and carbon, even after the light was stretched by cosmic expansion. These lines prove heavy elements exist in this ancient galaxy. More than that, their strength reveals a high abundance, impossible to achieve so quickly, according to our theories. Spectroscopy doesn't just show us what a galaxy looks like, it tells us what it is, and GNZ11 spectrum is a smoking gun. The numbers don't lie. The early universe was more chemically evolved than we thought. What does this mean for cosmology? If GNZ11's data holds up, it could force a fundamental revision of our models of the early universe. Maybe the first stars were even more massive and numerous, enriching their galaxies at breakneck speed. Or perhaps unknown processes, primordial black holes, exotic particles, played a role in creating heavy elements. The maturity of GNZ11 also challenges our ideas about how galaxies form. Maybe big, well-ordered galaxies could form directly and rapidly, not just by merging smaller ones. This single observation is a stress test for our entire cosmological model, exposing cracks in our understanding. The Lambda CDM model has explained much, but JWST's findings are shining a light on its limitations. It's a classic scientific moment, surprising data that doesn't fit the theory, hinting at a deeper truth. Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary scrutiny. Astronomers are poring over the data, searching for alternative explanations. Could the spectral lines be misinterpreted? Or is another galaxy contaminating the signal? The team stands by their results, but the global community is now on the case. For theorists, this is invigorating, a puzzle that sparks new ideas, simulations, and models. Observers are racing to find more galaxies like GNZ11. 
Is it a cosmic outlier, or the first of many? If more are found, our understanding of the cosmic dawn must be rewritten. If not, GNZ-11 becomes an even deeper mystery. This is science in action. Observation challenges theory, sparking debate and new research. No model is sacred, only evidence matters. JWST has energized cosmology, and the field is ready to follow wherever the data leads. In summary, JWST has peered back to the dawn of time and found a galaxy, GNZ11, loaded with heavy elements just 400 million years after the Big Bang. This challenges our fundamental timeline. Star formation and enrichment happened far faster than we thought. The evidence is robust, but will now face intense scrutiny. This is the heart of science theory and observation in dialogue, forcing us to refine or even revolutionize our understanding. JWST isn't just filling gaps, it's redrawing the map of our cosmic story. We thought we knew the opening chapter, but the universe had a secret prologue, a period of frantic early activity. If our understanding of the beginning is this incomplete, what other secrets does the universe still hold?